Yes guys, it's Tate here from Arsenal Active, back with another video. Today I'm previewing the upcoming match, Arsenal Brighton in the Premier League, kicking, kicking off at 12 o'clock this Sunday, so have a look at my thoughts. So just going on to this game, um, obviously Brighton at home in the Premier League, Brighton currently sit 13th, um, and have started quite well. They're the newbies to the, to the Premier League, haven't been in here for 33 years, so they're finally back in the top flight, and I think they're They'll be looking for one to remember on this Sunday and hopefully beat, beat us at the Emirates. But I just can't see that happening, to be honest. We've, we've got a good run going, um, won, won our last few games. And just talking about the one last time out, um, obviously in the Premier League, we beat West Brom 2-0 uh, actually at home. Uh, Lacazette Brace got the goals in that one. And we played quite well, though there was a few defensive concerns. However, we got over that and got the three points. Then we moved on to Thursday. We played um, Bate Borisov in the Europa League. And we, yeah, we came over that one with kind of flying colours. One, four-two with Theo Walcott um, getting a brace and Drew scoring his 100th goal. But again, more defensive concerns, and it does leave me a bit worried for when we play um, play tougher opponents, the likes of City, the Uniteds that have started very well this season. However, when we played Chelsea at Stamford Bridge recently, we saw we can can be resolute in defence and can can actually keep clean sheet away from home. So, just going on to this one, I, I do feel that we will have the right balance between between defensive structure uh, and attacking attacking force. Um, the likes of Sanchez and Ozil should, should be coming back into the team for this one. Um, it should cause that Brighton back line a lot of problems. Um, Brighton, although they have started well, they've got two wins, um, one draw and two losses from their first five games, I believe. Um, yeah, they've got seven points. So yeah, like I said, they've been doing all right and they've, they've been got, getting goals from across the broad, um, board and I think that is helping them. They don't have just one star striker. Um, they've, got, they've got a few that have been chipping in, lots of gross. Um, Mooney, um, Hampered, um, he's actually out now. Um, he scored last weekend, had a great game. Uh, so it's good that he, he's got a three-match ban, so we'll not, we'll not um, feature in this one. So gives our defence a, a bit of a rest, you could say, um, and a weaken, weakens Brighton. Although, don't be surprised if they caught us on the counter-attack and caught us from set-pieces. They'll look to frustrate um, our Arsenal side and sort of sit back and, and wait for their opportunity. It's a bit like West Brom tried to do last week. So it could be a bit frustrating one. One of those ones which could be a banana skin. But I feel like if we start well and we're playing playing our best form, um, then we should get over this one. Um, obviously at the end, we have we have got a good good record there. Um, haven't lost that well won all our games there this season and all competitions. And although you could say we haven't played too many strong sides, which is which is true, the top six we haven't played any of them at home yet. I do I do like the way it's going. And, and at home, if we can continue this, we can be a real force this season. And it sort of shows how, how poor our way form is, that we were six points off the top top two when we won all our home games. So um, I do know, well, we all know that we need to pick up away from home. Um, but at least at least at home we have some security and I think we, we will start start picking up maximum points there. Um, just going on to my lineup for this one, um, it would be much changed from that, oh, that play on Thursday night. We have such a big squad this season and I think it's great that we can play the Europa League and put on a, a sort of second-rate squad with a lot of youngsters in there. Um, and then it, we can probably get to the quarter final without playing our strongest squad. So that does help having such a big squad. Um, and then it will help, help on Saturday, because on Sunday, sorry, because a lot of our players will have a week's rest. Um, the likes of Sanchez, Ozil, um, Koscielny, they all have, have a break. So they should be fit and firing um, and ready to go. So yeah, my lineup, I'd go check and goal, stand and play quite well last week, I thought. Um, then I'll do it at the back, it would be our standard three, it would be Koscielny, um, Mustafi and Monreal. Monreal played brilliant the other night and I... I, at the start of the season, I was worried about him in that left um, centre back role. However, I feel like he started the season very well, so credit, credit g given out to him, I guess. Um, then at right wing back, I'd go Bellerin. Started the season very well, in my opinion. After that Liverpool game, he's really changed, switched on a lot more, um, knew he needs to be more focused, and yeah, he's really picked up since then. Then in the middle of Parker, Granite Xhaka, and Alan Ramsey both have started poorly, um, but now, now they're getting back to their best, I feel. Um, and I feel like in this one, Ramsey will cause a lot of, lot of issues for that um, Brighton back, la back line, um, especially with his late um, attacking runs. Then on left wing back, play Kalasnic. What sign he stand out to be? Three chances, but can't really ask much more for him. Then going forward into our front three, I'd actually start Urza at right wing. I feel like he will be back for this game. He needs a big game. Um, he hasn't performed that great this season, although he has created the most chances in the league. Um, so I, he, I know he does get a lot of scrutiny, um, but I feel like. He, he will step up in this game. Um, then left wing, I'll go Alexis Sanchez. Being, being his usual self, he's not fully fit yet, but I feel like he might be back to his best on this one. And for the first time ever, starting up top with 
Alexis and Ozil will be Lacazette. Can't really ask much more for this guy. Been brilliant at the start of the season. Obviously scored four four goals in five starts. Um, scored in all his home um, league starts. Uh, so yeah, he loves the Emirates. He loves the goal and hopefully he continues his scoring run. And now just going on to my score prediction. What what do I think? I feel like we all go over the line with this one. I feel like Lacazette will score again at the Emirates, his favourite stadium. And I think I think Alexis might join him in that. So I think I'm going to go a two 0 win to the Gunners. Let me know what you guys think. Um, who will score? Leave it in the comments below. Um, and also the poll card. Leave it just up there. Um, who, who will win? Arsenal? Will it be a draw? Will there be an upset on the cards? Let me know all your thoughts. I have to wait and see what happens. Hopefully, a strong performance. Come on, you gunners.